Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University and Freedom Fighters, issue number one. Um, this was surprisingly really good. All right, let's get into the, uh, the, the, the nitty gritty of this here. This is called Chapter One, Death of a Nation, Part One of Twelve, mind you. The writer is Robert Venditti, penciler, Eddie Barrow, uh, Eddie Barrows. Really small letters here, bear with me, guys. Anchor is Eber Ferreira, colors... Adriano Lucas, letters, Daron Bennett, cover, Barrows and Lucas, variant cover, Ben Oliver. All right. So uh, this is basically like a, in the beginning, it's a World War II uh, the, uh, preparedness video. They're getting ready to go out and actually fight against the, the, the Nazis, which is like, okay, you know, kind of cool. These, these older versions of these characters. And, and literally, I'm just like, I'm a little bored the first couple of pages, the first what is this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. About the first six, seven pages. It's it's really boring. Uh, just full disclosure, right? And all of a sudden, Plastic Man shows up. Plastic Men. This dude. All right. This is uh. These are versions of Plastic Man. But when I say when I when I when I um, uh, drolled on about the the S the Plastic Men. Yeah, SS. <laughs> like, that's crazy, man. And these guys were genuinely frightening. That first image is like, oh, crap. Plus, I know how powerful Plastic Man is. Oh, crap. Plus, there's more than one of them. Oh, crap. And these guys are vicious, wicked, angry, and just going at it. Dude, this is oh, amazing. This is amazing. These guys are a genuine threat. And like the whole time, just like, no, nah, I wouldn't want to fight these guys. I wonder if, oh my God, he just ate him. Like, it's bad. It's bad. So um, I love this. And then all of a sudden we go into 55 years later. So this almost feels, uh, you know, by going into the future like this, it almost feels like a, um, um, the man in the, the man in the tall castle, I think it's called, which was a great, great comic book, man. But it turns into more of a, like, it keeps trying to be a propaganda piece. The problem is these aren't just propagandists. These are people who actually want to get into the physicality of things. Now, the end, this final bad guy, I'm not entirely sure who this is. But I've got a really good feeling of who this is. And all I'm saying is, let's talk about um, not just Red Sun, but what would it be like, like SS Sun? However, Steel. Dude, this comic book looks like it's going to be absolutely amazing. This looks absolutely absurd how good this is. Now, in the back, they're actually giving you all the characters. You know, the four main good guy characters and whatnot that you can uh, follow along with. And that's actually really good since we don't get a whole lot of them. But you get to see their predecessors in most of this comic book, which is really helpful to give you a background on these guys. I like this comic book, man. This is cool. I think this is only the second volume of Freedom, Freedom Fighters that we had. Um, I know that there was a, at least one previous volume. So I, I don't know if there's anything else in between that and this. But this one this is turning out really good. Plus, Reverend Venditti, man, this guy is currently on Hawkman. Excuse me. He's just doing uh, damage. Damage is about to come to an end pretty soon, I think. Maybe six more issues or so. Anyway, he's doing damage, which I'm not a huge fan of damage, but I'm madly in love with Hawkman. And um, he was also doing Green Lanterns uh, and Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps. He was doing a lot of those Green Lantern stories. So think about that. All of the militaristic stories. All of them. So now all of a sudden we break into Freedom Fighters. This dude knows what he's doing. And if this comic book were to... This is real talk. If this comic book were to be in anybody else's hands... I don't think I would have any interest in it whatsoever. But I saw that Venditti is attached to this. I'm like, all right, I'm going to give this a shot. Because if anything, I know that Venditti can write the hell out of a war scenario. So, boom. This was this was pretty good, all right? Anyway, guys, definitely consider checking out at least the first issue. See if it appeals to you if you want to get the second issue. That being said, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.